Hi guys, it's time to dry hyperbola. Now in this particular example, we have a negative hyperbola. And here's the equation, y equals negative 2 over x. Now you may be familiar with a standard formula, up here y equals k over x, and that k is a constant. And in this particular instance, the k is negative 2. Sometimes it can be written as y times x, equals k that constant. Now in this particular example, we're going to fill in and plot the values from this table over here, up here on the number plane. So let's do that now. Let's have a look at the first one. We're going to substitute an x value, which is already negative, into a negative numerator on the top there. So what's that going to give us? Well, it's going to be negative 2 on negative 3, meaning it's going to be a positive. So that's going to be 2 thirds. The next one is going to be negative 2 on negative 2. There's our negative 2. That goes there for the x. Negative 2 on negative 2 is a positive 1. Then we're going to have a negative 1 on the denominator. So if you've got negative 2 on negative 1, that's going to be a positive 2, isn't it? So that's going to give us a 2 there. So let's put that in. 2. Now this is interesting. We have a 0. Put a 0 down here on the denominator. And it turns out we have no value. Your calculator would say error. That's the part near the axes. We're not going to see the actual curve touching the axes, the y-axis right along here. It'll approach it, but it'll never touch it. The next one is 1. Negative 2 on positive 1 will give us a negative 2. And negative 2 on positive 2 is negative 1. And negative 2 on positive 3 is negative 2 thirds. We're about to see a negative hyperbola and you're probably going to see it be in this quadrant and that quadrant because it's got that kind of negative towards your left kind of look. Whereas a positive one is over that way. You'll have the curve there and the curve there. So let's see where this turns out. In fact, that it is negative. So let's start to plot the points. The first one is negative 3 on two and 2 thirds. So negative 3 is here and it goes up positive 2 thirds. So let's go up 2 thirds, which will probably be about... There, there's our first point. Then we have negative 2, positive 1, negative 2, positive 1. Then we have negative 1, 2, negative 1, 2, that's right there. And then we have the 0, which it doesn't touch the axis, so we leave that. We have 1 and negative 2, 1 and negative 2 down here. 1 and negative 2 is going to be there. We have 2 and negative 1. 2 and negative 1 is going to be about there. And finally, 3, negative 2 thirds. There's our 3, negative 2 thirds is about there. So there's our points. There's the first part, and there's the second part. As you know, hyperbolas, or hyperbolic equations, are broken up into two parts. They're not a smooth continuous. They're actually discontinuous. So they're of the same shape and size, by the way. So let's have a look. I'm going to put them in black now. So let's have a look at the first one up the top here. The curve goes along like that, through there. There we have the curve. Now the second curve is going to go through there. Let's put that in there. That's going to go... There's our second curve right over there. There's our two curves. As you can see, they are the same shape and size. They are discontinuous at the axis. So discontinuous here at the x-axis and the y-axis, meaning the curve will approach the axis but never actually touch. So there you have it, the equation of